हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट कोडेड इनइक्वालिटी कोडेड इनइक्वालिटी इज बेस्ड ऑन द कंपैरिजन बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज कोडेड इनइक्वालिटी एंड व्हिच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आर जनरली कमिंग इन वेरियस एग्जाम From this section, there are five questions are always coming in every bank exam. The format of coded inequality is based on some statement and conclusion like we have read in syllogism chapter. But in this particular topic, we deal with some symbols. You may remember the symbols when you was in school. Uh, the symbols like greater than, less than, and equal to. And based on these symbols, the question will come. like some statement is given and based on the statements you need to find out which conclusion is definitely correct then first of all we will go through some simple basics so that you will understand the fundamental of coded inequality clearly and after that we will go for further discussions so the basics are if i will say a and b at the two variables as i said before the coded inequality is based on the comparison between two variables then for a and b the conclusion will come a greater than b a less than b a is equal to b these are the simple comparison that can be derived rather than this some more conclusion can be make out let us discuss about that this is if i will say a is neither greater nor equal to b if we say that a is neither greater nor equal to b then the only possibility left is a is less than b so i can write here a is less than b similarly for the second type a is neither smaller nor equal to b a is neither smaller nor equal to b then the only possibility is a is greater than b so i can write here a is greater than b and look at the third type that is a is neither greater nor smaller than b a is neither greater nor smaller than b means it it is obvious that a is equal to b so i can write here a is equal to b then comes to the fourth type that is a is not greater than b a is not greater than b means the remaining is it may be a less than b or a is equal to b so by combining two inequalities that we can say that a is less than equal to b the last type is a is not smaller than b a is not smaller than b means the only possibility left is it may be a is greater than b or a is equal to b so by combining two inequalities i can write a is greater than equal to b to solving inequality problem we need to understand some basic rules then let us discuss about that rules these are if i can write a is greater than equal to b then it is obvious that b is less than equal to a a is greater than equal to b means we can say b is less than equal to a similarly if it is given a is greater than b means b is less than a or a is less than equal to b means b is greater than equal to a and so on then the second type is a greater than b equal to c here a is greater than b and b is equal to c it is obvious that a is greater than b means a is greater than c a is greater than c the third type is a is greater than b greater than c this means a is greater than b b greater than c if you will find the similar inequalities between these variables then you can say a is greater than b means a is greater than c then the fourth type is a is greater than b greater than equal to c 
here notice that the relationship between a and b is directly understand to us but how can we compare the relationship between a and c here if you observe that the inequalities between these two variables that is a and c is greater than and greater than equal to then the relationship between a and c will be the one which is common in between two inequalities that is greater than so here the conclusion is a greater than c similarly fifth type is a greater than equal to b greater than equal to c like the third option a is a is greater than b and b is greater than equal to c these are the similar inequalities between these variables so i can directly write here a is greater than equal to c then the next type is if i can write a is greater than b and less than c this is the most important type remember this if it is given a is greater than b and b is less than c here we can say b is less than a and b is less than c if these two similar cases are there like b is less than a or b is less than c then the relationship between a and c cannot be compared because these two inequalities cannot be compared with each other so that means the conclusion will come a is greater than c or a is less than c or a is equal to c so whenever you find the similar cases like b is less than a or b is less than c then the relationship between a and c cannot be determined similarly a is greater than b greater than a is similarly a is greater than b less than equal to c or a is greater than equal to b or less than equal to c or a is greater than equal to b or less than c or so on in this cases if two inequalities are there these two cannot be determined that means the conclusion cannot be established and then the last one is if i can write a is not equal to b is equal to c then the relationship between a and c may be a is not equal to c or a is equal to c so these are the most important rule which is required to solve the questions so let us take a example based on this so this equation has got dissimilar relationship if we try to compare these variables such that there are dissimilar inequalities between them then we can say that the conclusion cannot be determined so let us see if we compare the variable p with s once you compare these variables you can say the inequalities between them are dissimilar then the relationship between p and s cannot be determined that means we can say p is greater than s or p is less than s or p is equal to s all three cases are possible so the simple thing is whenever you find the dissimilar inequalities like greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to greater than less than equal to or greater than equal to less than and so on that means if two inequalities are present between two where present between these variables then the relationship between them cannot be established so let us do a problem so that you will understand clearly the question is if the statement is given k is greater than equal to l is equal to m greater than n greater than o then the conclusion is given one is m less than k or uh, two is l greater than n we have to find out which conclusion between them are true so first conclusion is given m is less than k here the comparison between k and m here as you can see 
k is greater than equal to l and l is equal to m l is equal to m means k greater than equal to l means k is greater than equal to m that means k is greater than equal to m means we can say m is less than equal to k but here the con in fast conclusion it is written m is less than k so it is obvious that the fast conclusion is wrong because m is less than equal to k then comes to the second conclusion that is l is greater than n so here the comparison between l and n here see you see that l is equal to m greater than n so l is equal to m means m greater than n means here l is also greater than n then the second conclusion is true so these are the basic and most important thing that we have discussed from coded inequality i have tried to solve some of the questions based on this and if you guys have any doubt please comment it below thank you